all the hugs for Hugos and Hughes and Howards and Huberts. Bleh. <laughs> Let's carry on. Hello all my exciting Keiths, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we are looking to the first name of Howard. Though before we begin I just have to remind you that we are trying to hit that goal of $1,000 a month from Patreon by the end of June. And when we hit this goal I'm going to make one of my most requested videos ever. I'm going to make a massive video explaining how all the states of America got their name as well as their nickname. I know a lot of you guys want to see this video and I've kind of been hiding it behind this goal but we are so close now. We're on about $187 a month, so that's just about 130 of you need to enjoy Name Explain enough to donate just $1 a month and we will be there in no time. And if we do hit this by the end of June, then I'm going to shave all this off and I really don't want to do that. Um, yeah, simply put, I don't want to shave myself. This is my image, like I look ridiculous without a beard, but that's how much I'm willing to put on the line for this. That's how much I want to hit this goal. I'm willing to humiliate myself again. Kai's be a running theme with this series. Give me money and I'll humiliate myself. Cool. And since last week, so many of you have decided to become patrons and it warmed my heart so much. So a huge thank you to Matthew Otis Myers, John Bellano, Eric Peterson, Paul Watson, Asia Ramatol, Frederick Samuelson, Anthony Deng, Harbringer of Sarcasm, Alexander FK, Timothy Douglas, and John Bastion. Thank all you guys so, so much. You guys help Name Explain in the best way possible. That's so many. Apologies if I miss, uh, miss you by any chance, and apologies if I mispronounce your name, but that's kind of my shtick. You should know that by now. As well as explain names, I mispronounce them. But anyway, on with today's name of Howard. And what's so interesting about the name Howard is we aren't exactly sure how the name came about. We have various ideas as to where the name Howard originally came from, what original name created the modern name of Howard. One idea is that it comes from the Old Norse Havada, which means High Defender or Guardian. While another idea is that it comes from the Old French Horod, meaning worker with a hoe. You know, the, the gardening kind of hoe, not the other kind of hoe. Get your mind out the gutter, guys. Come on. There's one idea that it might even come from the Old English you heard, meaning you herder, as in a herder of female sheep, you, not a herder of you, like literally you watching this video right now, not that. One other source pointed out that it might mean hog warden in Old English, though it didn't give an exact name. I guess just hog ward put together sounds somewhat like Howard, hog ward, how ward. I can see how that could have happened. Plus the name hog and ward, those words unto himself, haven't really changed much since Old English either, so there is some credibility to this one, that's for sure. Hogward. Kind of sounds a bit like Hogwarts, but I don't think there's any relation to that. However, the idea I like the most is that Howard comes from the Old Germanic Hookard. This name comes from the Old Germanic word forming element of hug, meaning heart slash mind. And the other Old Germanic word forming element of hard, meaning brave slash warrior. So yeah, this name could literally be translated into meaning Braveheart, but this has nothing to do with Scotland, obviously. As cool as that is, it's not this Scottish link about the name which I enjoy so much about it. No, what I enjoy so much about the name is the first part of it, that hug part, meaning mind slash heart. As heart and mind are such a broad concept, it means that this German hug word has been applied to many other names as well. Most noticeably we have the name Hugh, which simply means heart slash mind and comes from this exact same root. And we have his Latinized form of Hugo too. It also gave us the name Hubert too, meaning bright heart. If we choose to believe the hug hard origin for Howard, that means the name of Howard, Hugh, Hugo and Hubert are all connected by hugs, which I just think is really cool. You know me by now. I just love when names get interlinked by this. I mean, I guess these names are somewhat similar in sound. They're not as different as say Sebastian or Augustus in the way they're linked together, but I just think it's really cool. Once again, I just love names connecting with one another like this. However, you may be thinking Harold plays into all this too, and it actually doesn't. Despite sounding somewhat similar to Howard, Harold comes from completely different origins, as does Umber slash Umberlator, because that sounds quite like Hubert as well. Just thought I'd let you guys know that those names aren't part of this group, I'm afraid. Though what I love most about all this is that old Germanic term of hug gave us the modern word of hug too, as in, you know, the thing we do to one another to show affection. You know, like we just sort of like wrap each other to show affection. It's kind of weird when you think about it like that, and that probably ruined my microphone a little bit, so sorry headphone users. It makes a lot of sense as to how this will give us the word of hug in modern English. Heart and mind are always things very deeply linked to affection, and hugging people is something we do for affectionate reasons on the whole, unless like, you're giving someone a bear hug in a wrestling match, but maybe they like each other too. I'm sure they do deep down. I'm sure wrestlers get along when they're bear hugging each other. It's quite an intimate 
let's just carry on. This is going off topic. If we could find four people called Howard, Hugh, Hugo, and Hubert and make them all do a big group hug, they would all be living up to their name so well. I want to see that happen. If you are, if you have one of these names and know three other people with those other names, go give each other a big hug. I mean, like have a vaccine first or make sure you don't have COVID or anything like that, but just, just go for it. Just all hug each other. You'll all be living up to your name so much. All the hugs for Hugos and Hughes and Howards and Huberts. Blah. Let's carry on. Though it might actually be quite hard to find someone called Howard in this day and age. As of 2019, Howard is the 986th most popular boy's name in America. So just about in the top 1000, but by nowhere means the top of that list. Just, just about in there. The name really peaked in popularity across the late 19th century to the early 20th century. And then from about the mid 20th century just went pew in popularity. Maybe it's coming back though, who knows? And here in the UK, it's the 2,488th most popular boy's name. There were just eight baby Howards born in 2019, so really not that popular here either, it would seem. Famous Howards include the likes of Howard Stern, who's a radio DJ from America. Don't know why I know about him, I just do. Who's told me about Howard Stern in the past? Why, why, why is that name in my head? I don't know. There's also former film mogul Howard Hughes, and what I like so much about this name is as we noticed earlier, these names both come from the same root, Howard Hughes. His name basically means heart heart or hug hug. That's really cool. I don't think he was the nicest person. Maybe he was. People called moguls normally aren't the nicest. Famous horror author H.P. Lovecraft was actually Howard himself, Howard Philip, I believe. Though I didn't actually know that, I just knew him as H.P., like the source. And there's a ton of fictional Howards as well. The ones that come to mind for me are Howard Stark, Tony Stark's dad, and of course, Howard the Duck. As for video game Howards, I found Todd Howard, who isn't a video game character, but he works in the world of video games. I believe he's the top dog on uh, at Bethesda. He helps create games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout, which I think is still popular. I'm not sure where they stand at the moment. Do people still like Bethesda? Let me know down below. Also, Howard's his surname. Yeah, I, sh I should have mentioned earlier, how can also be a surname. My bad, forgot to mention that, but here you go. It could be a surname too. But anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Howard. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Howard? Are you called Howard yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on last week's name of Gwen. And look, I actually remembered to record this bit last time. Amber just didn't have to save my ass again. St. Augustine 6 said, My sister's name is Gwenda, named after my father's sister. My family is from Kent and his father is Welsh, so the connection there is obvious. She always goes by Gwenda and is often frustrated as people always think that her name is Gwen or Gwendolyn, as those former names are much more common here in the USA. That is so interesting to hear. The name Gwenda... I wouldn't expect anyone to be called Gwenda in the USA. I wouldn't really expect me to be called Gwenda in uh, Wales or even here in England. So that's cool that there's a Gwenda among us in the form of your sister. That's really cool to know, thank you. Victor Gomes said, a famous Gwen Stefani song is Hollaback Girl. She's part of a band called No Doubt, known for songs like Don't Speak. You see, I knew those songs. I knew Hollaback Girl, I just, I didn't know it was by her. That's my issue. I know all these songs, but don't know who the, author, who the authors are. Gosh, that makes sound like a really old man, the author of a song. I'm just not very down with the times, I'm afraid, though I think the times in this case are the like mid-2000s. Which I should know a lot of, because that was like my jam. This is going to be off topic, hasn't it? And Claire Watson said, I'm still marvelling at the fact that you are not in fact a cartoon character. So am I too, despite how ridiculous I look. I know I look a lot like a cartoon character with my big silly hair, beard and glasses, but no, I'm a real boy, much like Pinocchio. Next week, we'll be looking to a name that starts with the letter I, and what name that will be exactly will be chosen on a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it, and have a say in what names get explained, then please do consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps out in such a huge way. It uh, allows you to help choose what names get explained in these videos, gets you loads of extra content, and even ad-free videos. You know all the annoying ads I put in the middle of these videos? You don't have to deal with them if you support me on Patreon. Just $1 a month gives you that access. And it really does help in a huge way. We're trying to hit $1,000 a month. We're at about 870. We are so, so, so close, guys. Just go do it. If you can afford to, that is. If you can't afford to, don't worry. Go spend your money somewhere more importantly. Trust me, like, that's more important than supporting my butt on YouTube. But anyway, that's just about enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, my name is YT, and go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain. Anyway guys, take care.